Facts about Boston Cruise Port gives you some things to consider doing before or after your cruise from Boston or during a day when your cruise stops as a port of call at the Port of Boston. Boston is one of those cities that's perfect to explore on foot. Within a 10 minute walk from the Boston Cruise Port are many museums and restaurants and just a ton of things to see. The Boston Cruise Port, technically Raymond L. Flynn Black Falcon Cruise Terminal, was a former World War I military warehouse. There are three terminals. The main terminal, Terminal 2, and 88 Black Falcon. Boston is one of my favorite cities in the East Coast, but it's for a lot of strange reasons. One, it's a great sports town with the Red Sox, the Patriots, the Bruins, and others. It's a great food town, especially the clam chowder and the lobster rolls. And it's just a great place with a tremendous amount of history. little bit of fair warning if you want to go out on Cape Cod it's the coldest water in the world I think it's just awful it's cold getting around Boston is super easy there's buses that leave every 10 minutes there's a subway you can take the old town trolley tours with where the driver narrates amphibious vehicle tours. Boston is a great walking town. Within 10 minutes, you can find tons of places to see, plenty of restaurants and shopping. I am a water nut, so I always enjoy the water taxi. History abounds in the Boston area. There's the Freedom Trail, a two and a half mile trek that links 16 historic sites, including the old State House, Boston Commons, and a tour of the USS Constitution. Benuel Hall Marketplace has been a popular spot since 1827, has plenty of places to eat and shop. And of course, there's the JFK Presidential Library and Museum. If you're an art person, you might try the Institute of Contemporary Art. Boston Children's Museum or the Museum of Fine Arts. Boston is a fabulous sports town ruled by the Red Sox at Fenway Park, the Patriots, the Boston Bruins, and much more. And who wouldn't want to have an adult beverage in a t-shirt from the original Cheers bar? There's always a skull ride in the Boston Public Garden. Or shopping or dining on Newberry Street. If you're in town for an evening, you might luck into an event with the Boston Symphony Hall. Or visit the New England Aquarium. Maybe a tour of the Samuel Adams Brewery. Or a fabulous meal in Chinatown. It seems like I've been visiting the Union Oyster House. Since it opened in 1826. And I love the cannolis from Mike's Pastry. 
Pizzeria Regina, Bartley's Burgers, or a lobster roll from Neptune Oyster could all be on the agenda. And who wouldn't want to hoist one in Black Rose Irish Pub? Foodies enjoy one of the food tours or the Boston Chocolate Tour. And should you be in town in April, the Boston Marathon is an experience. That about wraps up the truth about Boston Cruise Port, showing you some things to do or see before, during, or after your cruise to Boston. And remember, folks, if you'd like to keep up with cruise industry news, the latest in cruise ships, ports of call, and cruises themselves, just hit the little subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you real soon.